Uh, next, we have a presentation from Light in Motion. Heidi Hall is going to do a demo, assisted by uh, Marty Glickman. So uh, tell us about your lights, Heidi. OK, great. Thanks, Jim. It's great to be here to introduce you to the Stella Lights. Before we literally dive into the line, I want to give you a background about the company Light in Motion. We are a vertically integrated manufacturing company. Uh, we're about 50 people. Our factory is located in Marina, California, about 10 miles north of Monterey. And there we design, build, and assemble our products in the United States. We do everything under one roof, as you can see here, engineering, manufacturing, design, assembly, distribution. We are not, although we're new to DCS, we're probably the newest members, we're not new to lighting. We've been in the business for over 25 years designing the most high performance, state of the art, underwater lighting solutions for filmmakers and photographers. These filmmakers have come to us asking for the same portability, compact design, high performance, durable products for their work topside. These are filmmakers that travel the world on assignment with National Geographic, Discovery, Reality TV, and they want products that will stand up and perform and deliver the highest quality content. We responded to those needs and we came out with a new line of lights called the Stella Lights. These are the most compact, portable, and powerful lights in the industry. To demonstrate how compact and portable they are, this is my five light kit here today. Um, I've got everything I need in here, uh, with the exception of stands. I've got portable power, I've got portable modifiers, and I have the portable LED lights. I'm going to open up the kit here, and I'm going to move this. This is one of our lights as well. Move that off to the side, and I want to show you what's in here. So there you go. You've got all the power that you need for um, stand-up interview, for um, remote location shooting. You can even do beautiful beauty studio shots with this kit. And I'm going to, Jim, if you don't mind, I'm going to hand these lights over to my assistant here. Marty, can you put this on a stand? This is, this is one of our pro lights. This is the Stella Pro 5000. You can see it on the, on the screen there. Here is the Stella Pro 7000. I'll hand this one to you as well. And then we've got the smaller, more compact Stella Pro 2000. And if you can aim those down so we're not shining in people's eyes or back toward the screen, which would be great. Um, in fact, I'll switch with you, Marty, if you don't mind. Could you give me one with a pro photo adapter? I'll take that, you know, 7,000 is fine. And here you go. Perfect. Oh, actually, give me that 5,000. Give me this one. And what I'd like to do, Marty, is can you just pass this around? Would you guys like to get your hands on it? I'll, I'll pass it along around with one of our optics. We make portable optics as well. This is our new invention. It is a silicon optic, so you don't have to worry about scratching. Um, you can roll this in the dirt and rinse it off. You can take this and the light to Burning Man, and the silicon dust won't bother it at all. You'll just be able to dip it in a bucket and clean it off. So let me pass these around, and um, I'll turn it on. And then it's just got a lever here, so it allows you to toggle up to full power, and you'll see on the back of the screen it'll give you accurate runtime and the battery power remaining. And I'll just turn off the kill switch, and um, thank you, Marty, and get that passed around here. So um, let me just acknowledge something that I think everybody understands in this industry. Things are changing very rapidly. Um, we have amazing new technology that we can integrate into new products. Um, we're an engineering-based manufacturing company. We've been designing optics and LEDs for, well, optics since our inception in 1989, but we've been working with LEDs to create high-performance products since 2009. So we were one of the early adopters of LED technology. Um, what we also see in the film industry today is we see that budgets are shrinking, um, crews are shrinking, 
filmmakers are working very differently. Um, we're seeing more and more owner operators um, because the demand for content is very high right now and quality content. So these filmmakers need products that can travel the world, that pack up easily, that are durable, and can take a, a beating from TSA. Um, the beauty of our lights is that they really meet those requirements um, for photographers and filmmakers um, to deliver top quality content in a very affordable way. Um, and I'm talking about affordability not only in cost, but in terms of time management. Our lights are designed to ease the workflow because they're very easy to rig. They're the lights that you can set up very easily, get in, get the content, and get out. Let me just go over the line with you, Jim, if we can. Let's start with, um, we've got the 2000. This little guy um, weighs about a pound. Um, all of our lights are denoted by a number, 1000, which is right here in the, in the Tupperware tank. The 2000, 5000, and 7000. We're talking about lumen output, and that's what describes each one of these lights. In this industry, we're most used to talking about watts. We measure all of our lights in lumens. Um, that's how you measure the light output of an LED. A lumen is, and I think um, Cineo touched on this, but lumen is the total visible light. We don't measure infrared, we don't measure UV. We measure all of our lights in an integrated sphere, and we, we test and certify their output. We also test and certify the runtime because all of our lights, as you can see, maybe, so, maybe you've noticed we don't have any cords. It's all tether, untethered. And we also measure the runtime and we want to make sure that it's regulated so that you get constant output throughout the, uh, for the uh, completion of the battery. All of our lights have an 120 degree native beam they can be modified by a number of, you know, wide array of portable modifiers that we have, and I'll show you those later. But you can also modify them by available light shaping tools. In this case, I'm going to look, use a little chimera on this 2000, so we can give a look here. And do we have Erin in our, in our hot seat? She's right here. Let's turn the lights away from her. You want to turn the uh, 10,000 away from her? Okay, so here's, and here's the effect of the little 2000 on Aaron. It's a pretty soft light. Yes, yeah, so this is the 2000, the Stella 2000, and it's modified here by the little Chimera, the Super Pro Plus XXS. We have a portable Fresnel, we have a portable glow bulb, and then we also have the 50 degree optic that you've seen. The ability to modify these with these kind of robust, durable modifiers, again, is a, a huge time-saving tool. Um, in this case, we've got the, the 7000, and I'm going to bump this up to full power, and you can see it's very punchy. Um, if you look up above, you can see the reach that it has. Um, it's pretty impressive. And again, this is, this is the kind of light that really, you know, is, is terrific for film noir. It's got a very defined spot with a nice, it's got a harder edge, and uh, we call this our Hollywood spot. Thank you, Aaron. And then we have this little, this little modifier, which is called our glow bulb. And what it does is it replicates a Chinese lantern. And again, you know, super portable. And here it is, and this, this provides a very even, smooth light. Great for lighting an interview. Thank you. So let me go back just momentarily and, and really talk about the confirmation of the product here. So this product, as I mentioned, super portable, compact, travels very easily. Um, it weighs about two and a half pounds. And it's got an integrated battery. 
I heard that Panasonic was here today. Um, we use high capacity lithium ion batteries from Panasonic. They're very stable. Um, they give us tremendous runtime. With our Stella Pro lights, the 5000 and the 7000, you have up to 90 minutes of runtime on high and up to 11 hours on the low mode. So, this kind of light allows you to really operate in a very remote uh, location. Um, our lights were um, adopted early by Red Bull. They did a documentary with our lights in Vietnam in the monsoon, air, uh, monsoon time. And if any of you have been any, in any kind of rainy weather like we've had in the last month, um, you'll know, you'll appreciate how robust and durable these lights are to perform in any number of conditions. The, um, as I mentioned before, all of our lights, the pro lights, are, have a OLED screen that gives you accurate runtime and uh, battery status, so you'll always know where you are. If you are operating on the grid, you have the opportunity to power it off of AC, main power, um, or DTAP, or car charging. Let's say you're doing the, uh, the Baja 500. Um, so you can be running this off of your, um, you know, your dune buggy and, uh, and getting a charge and, and going forward that way. So super convenient, versatile, compact, and robust. We test all of our lights to the FL1 standard. We test for ingress protection. We test for impact resistance. We also test for the quality of the beam. All of our lights are dropped onto concrete at one meter on six different sides. And once they pass that test, we take them into the um, test tank and we um, put them in a pressurized tank and we drop them down to 100 meters. And then we bring them up, we charge them up, and we package them and we send them out the door. Um, as you can see, we have our little 1,000 here. So it's been operating most of the day here, and it's, uh, and it's in the water. Um, and this is also true of our other IP68 lights, which are three. The 1,000, the 2,000, and the 5,000 are fully waterproof to 100 meters. Our 7,000 um, our 7000 is, um, not, is not, pass not completely passively cooled. We have a two-speed fan that comes on after you bump it up above 5,000 lumens and then it goes on, it's on low, and then it comes on high for the last level. And that's also true with our 10,000, which is our only corded light, which is at the very end. Um, and those two lights are IP rated 54 for splashing and for rain. As I wanted to just talk about the chip on board technology. Um, a lot of you are familiar with the LED technology, and we've adopted the chip on board technology because it delivers a beautiful, pure beam. Um, we, we have a TLCI and CRI of 90 plus, and the beauty of this light, besides its portability with its um, you know, integrated battery, is also the fact that this light um, delivers a very clean, smooth, even beam. It's a hard light, but it also can be softened into a really pretty soft light. So I welcome you to come by our booth um, to learn, out, learn more. We can go over some of the technical details, but um, I encourage you to try it out because they're very fun to play with. Um, thank you so much. Thank you.